Hey yo, what is good ladies and gentlemen? Yes sir, y'all see, y'all see it. I'm getting official with the setup, man. All glory to God. You know, God's bringing together the vision he has for me and what I have for like the direction I'm trying to take this channel. It's coming through little by little. I'm so excited. I don't know how, y'all just don't understand how happy I am that I actually have a mic now. A mic. Like, I can finally start probably live streaming, doing, like, the little podcast series that I said I wanted to do. But, I mean, like, you hear this? That's that quality. I'm bringing you all that quality now. Quality. But, anyways, man, this video, we're going to be talking about Australia. Now, we've talked about Australia on this channel before, but Australia is becoming more and more like a dictatorship i don't know what happened from the pandemic to the people who are in charge of like australia's government or so but these people are wilding if we're gonna keep it honest um just keep it a buck with you guys but what i'm gonna let y'all guys do is just watch the video um there are gonna be two videos we're gonna watch one part of it well we're gonna watch one video first and we're gonna talk about it then we're gonna come back and watch the next video and we're gonna talk about it so without further ado let's roll it the camp who are disciplining you because you were apparently not being contained within your area is that right yeah correct so i went to the bin to put something in the bin that i was not wearing a mask um and the person that came to hand me the notice was another police officer so, so what's what's the guy so just i'm gonna give you a warning yeah it's an official warning that you have to stand about and obey the rules while you get yeah and that's we have to Go to the rules again. I don't care. So am I allowed to, to go background. to the laundry? You're allowed to go to the laundry, but you've got to wear a mask, yeah? Yeah, right. Yeah. Eh? And you definitely can't go up to the fence anywhere else, but you're allowed to go to the laundry, yeah? That's always been the case, yeah? Right, so if I was sitting just here, which is right near the fence, why are these guys in a cabin that's right near the fence? It makes no sense, does it? Yeah, but you can't leave your balcony to go to the fence to talk to somebody else. That's just obvious, yeah? So if I would have that balcony... Have sense. It is. We always have, there has to be lines everywhere drawn, yeah? And one of the lines is you cannot leave your balcony and you cannot go to someone else. Where it makes no sense or it doesn't seem right to you, that is the line and that's what the law is, yeah? And that's how it goes, yeah? The law. What a show direction. There's a law that says show that. Show direction, yep. There's a show direction, yeah? And how the behaviour must be done, especially in this area because it's much more highly infectious and likely to have infected people, yeah? Highly infectious when all of us people are negative. So, so far, the risk is still very high, yeah? <laughs> just while you're here, can we just do that? Otherwise, the next time it's a $5,000 fine. We don't want to do that. It's a $5,000 fine, $5, fine. fine if what? If, if you breach again. If if I walk out onto that path. Without your mask on, for no reason, I've been the wrong If I cross that yellow line. Saying that you've broken the rule. That I've broken the rule, I will be issued with a $5,000 fine. That's correct. Right. Okay. I could have, we could even do that now, but we're giving the warning first. Have a chat with you because it's a big fine. We'd rather just do the right thing, yeah? Like I said, I'm not here to fight with you. Yeah. I don't want to fight with you. Yeah. I just want everybody to do the right thing. And yeah. unfortunately, it's my job to make sure they do. I don't care. The ins and outs. I've got nothing to do with me. I'm just here to make sure the rules are here. Yeah. All right, man. So y'all saw that. Y'all heard that. Now I got my computer here because we're just going we're just going to go through that video because first off, like, what, what is going on in Australia, all right? So you got them people standing outside. First off, they got like in like concentration camps for the unvaccinated. Now, uh, we constantly stated this whole pandemic, the unvaccinated and the vaccinated both can get and spread COVID. This is readily available on the CDC site. You know, the health experts, they say it as well. Um, this is pretty much straightforward information. So why are there concentration camps for unvaccinated? I don't know, man. That's getting real like Nazi Germany-ish. If we're going to be honest, it's getting real Nazi Germany-ish. So the people said, um, you know, we're going to issue a, you a warning. You must stay on your balcony and obey these rules. So not only have they gotten you in the camp, but you can't leave this certain balcony or like it looks like they're in, I don't even know how to describe it. What are those things called? Like 
kind of like uh, trailers. Like it looks like they're all in trailers and they can't leave the balcony of the trailer to do anything. Then they say you must wear, she's like, you know, what if I, what if I have to do laundry? Well, you got to wear a mask to do your laundry. If you don't, then you're going to get in trouble. You can't leave the balcony, go to the fence. And you see in the video, like, pretend like this is the balcony. The fence is the wall. Like, that's how close the balcony and the fence are from each other. And they're like, no, you can't leave your balcony to go to the fence. You got to stay on your balcony and talk to the person who's through the fence. And it's like, they're like literally right next to each other. There's literally air right there between the fence. Like, it's not really making sense. And she even says in the video, like, does this not make sense to you guys? Like, I get you guys are trying to enforce this, but does this not make sense to you? And the person's like, even if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't matter. It's the law. She's like, it's the law? So I guess like in Australia, they're creating laws now that are preventing you from being able to do things. But from my thing, my perspective is at some point, the people who enforce these laws have to realize like, should I really be enforcing this? Like, is, does this really make my fellow Australian citizen feel safe? Does it make sense what I am doing? Like, yes, you have to, you know, do your job, do what you got to do. But at some point, it's like your integrity and morals have to take over versus what's considered right by the government. You know what I mean? Like, at what point do, do you, dif not do, you do, but what point do you differentiate I'm going to enforce these policies or this doesn't make sense to me as well. So I'm going to take a step back and really evaluate why I'm doing this. Because he even knows after she said this doesn't make sense to y'all, you could see that they all were like, a, wait a second. My brain registered that this doesn't make sense either. Like, uh, code, not computing. And then he says, well, even if it doesn't make sense, it's the law. So it's like. It kind of feels like a 1984 thing at this point, right? It's like, you know something's not right. You see with your eyes, that doesn't look right. You're hearing, it doesn't make sense. But the people over you are telling you, you know what? Disregard that. Disregard what you see and you hear. Just say it's the law. Even if it doesn't make, it doesn't have to make sense. I know it doesn't, but just do what we ask you to do. And that's why to me, it's like a, a power or control type narrative when it comes to this pandemic and these concentration camps, it's like they just want power control over those who aren't vaccinated, those who don't comply. You can't comply your way out of tyranny. People have been saying that all pandemic, but you really can't. They then go on to say it's a $5,000 fine. You know, you're lucky we gave you a warning, blah, blah, blah. It's a $5,000 fine. And she's like, what? And they're like, it's a $5,000 fine if you cross this line. Imagine you're being put into a concentration camp. That's basically what it is for not being vaccinated. Everyone around you has, like she said, tested negative for COVID. So they're all negative. You cannot leave your balcony. You can't do anything you want to do, even if it doesn't make sense. And if you do something out of line or you cross this little yellow line already inside this already contained area, you're going to be fine. Five thousand dollars. You're going to be fine. Five thousand dollars. Bro, I can't believe it. If I lived in Australia, bro, at this rate, I don't even know like if I could leave my house because it's they're making it seem like you can't. And then we're going to also get into um, this other clip where you really can't leave your house. Like not only are the unvaccinated being put into these concentration camps, but they also can't leave their house. And I'll go ahead and roll that clip now. I will now go through each of these decisions. First, the lockout. The fully vaccinated can continue as they were. For people who are not vaccinated, lockdown rules will apply to everyone 16 and above. If you are not fully vaxxed, stay home. You are at greater risk of catching COVID, becoming ill and needing hospital care. You may only leave home for three reasons. Medical treatment, including COVID testing or vaccination. For essential goods and services like groceries, power tokens, medications. 
to provide care and support to a family member or person who cannot support themselves. You cannot travel more than 30 kilometres from your home when leaving for one of the three reasons or the nearest practical destination. If you need to go to the hospital and it's more than 30 kilometres from your home, that's okay. The only three reasons, there, sorry, there are only three reasons to leave the home now, not five. Work is not a reason to leave the home for the unvaccinated. The Chief Health Officer has also determined that restriction of movement is critical right now and that one hour of exercise for the next four days is not essential. Remember, these restrictions only apply to those who are not fully vaccinated. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, Bud D is tripping. You know, at first I'm like, okay, concentration camps, you know, that's reminding me of Nazi Germany. People may say, well, that's not really, that's not nothing like the Nazi Germany. It's nothing like them. We're here in, uh, in the land down under and we don't do that. But now you have this dude coming by saying, the fully vaccinated, you're good to do what you want. You, you get a pass. Here's your hall pass. Go do what you want. The not vaccinated, these rules only apply to you. This is like the greatest form of separation I have ever seen. You know, instead of it being, oh, you're black, you can't do this, or you're white, you can't do that. It's, oh, you're vaccinated versus the unvaccinated. So they say like, he says here in this video, you know, you're not fully vaxxed, stay home because you're at greater risk of catching the virus. Now, one of the problems I have with this is I'm a grown man. I paid for my house. I paid for my car. I paid to do for all this. I, you didn't give birth to me, whoever this man is. You didn't give birth to any of these Australian people. So for you to tell them, stay home, you're at greater risk, like they can't make the decision for themselves. Like, I don't understand. Let me stop moving my mic. I don't want y'all having any interference. But I don't understand what's with this pandemic and all of these people being like, they're, they're, it's, it's kind of like they think we're so dumb, we can't make the decision for ourselves. You guys are so dumb, you need to be vaccinated because we're trying to protect you. I, I don't want you thinking for me. Let me make my own decisions. If I want to either get the vax or decide I don't want the vax because, you know, I just don't want it. I'm going to just take my risk with getting COVID. Then that's my grown man decision. I can do what I want to do. I don't need you telling me what greater risk I'm at. It's a greater risk if you drink too much water. But if I want to drink too much water, I'm going to do It's a risk for me to drive my car on the street. It's a risk for me to go swimming. I can drown. So don't tell me what I'm at a greater risk for. And don't tell my Australian folks what they had a greater risk for. Like, what are you talking about? Does no one else find this crazy? I'm sitting up here getting riled up because we've been saying this. I talked about Australia back in what? March, May, maybe April. I talked about Australia because I'm like, they wilding over there. First, they asking for vaccine passports. Then they setting up little camps. Then people are like, well, it's not really that bad. Then they locking people down. You can't visit. You can't leave. They arrest people if they go outside. One famous football player in the video I did, he left to drive to another city. And the police pulled him over and said, why are you going to another city? It's COVID restrictions. Like, come on now, like, what world do we live in? You're going to tell me I stay at home because you're at greater risk. Well, then that's just a risk I have to take. There's no rule in Las Vegas saying you can't spend money. Sorry if I'm yelling in the mic, y'all. But you can't spend money because it's a greater risk you'll lose it gambling. You can't play the lottery. Because it's a greater risk you won't win after you've already put your money into the pot. Like, they got to make it make sense. Let people make these decisions for themselves. That's what I've been about this whole pandemic. You know, I don't care who takes the shot, who gets this, what treatments and all these rules. Like, allow people to think for themselves. Those who want daddy government to think for them, 
they can go with whatever daddy government says because that should be an option. I don't want to think for myself, so I'd rather you do the thinking for me. But there are others who want the information and want to make that decision for themselves. That's not that, that's like literally not that hard for people to, you know, comprehend and understand. Then he says, you can only leave home for three reasons. Just, just, just three reasons. Medical treatment, including COVID testing or vaccination. So basically, if you get COVID or you need to test, that's one of the reasons you can leave. If you need to buy goods like that are essential, go into the grocery store or you're providing care to someone that's sick. So you can only one go for you can only leave to go to the grocery store. Go care for someone that's sick or to buy groceries. That's it. Th those are the only reasons. Or go test for COVID or, you know, go to the hospital, whatever you need to do. And it cannot be more than 30 kilometers from your house. So, <laughs> OK, if you're not vaccinated, you cannot leave your home because you're at greater risk. If you have to leave, you can't go further than 30 kilometers away from your house. If you do decide to stay within the 30 kilometers, it can only be for groceries. It can only be to take care of someone and it only can be to test for COVID or go to the hospital for COVID. Bro, what is the point of you living over there? If you live in Australia, when this is all up, if you live in Australia, please, please get out. Get out while you can. This isn't going to be good for you down the line. There's no way. There's no way. And then he even said that it was five reasons before. Now it's three. It was five. Now it's three. Bro. And then he, and then at the very end, <laughs> bro, like this, honestly, like I feel bad for these people in these countries that are doing this. But then I also realize people here in America, like in Australian stuff, you know, they don't already don't really have many rights. They have rights, I'm not going to lie, but they don't have that many that really protect them from their government doing this. Their government can just do it at the bat of an eye. Like, oh, we doing this? Okay, we doing... All right, all right, that's that's next. Okay, that's next. Here, we have all of our freedoms where our government technically can't do this same thing to us. But people say, you know what? Here you go, government. Here you go. Take my freedoms. Uh, yeah, I, I placed, you know, my freedom of speech. I placed, you know... The freedom to do this and that right here in this tiny little box. And, you know, I, I feel like I don't want to make the decision for myself. So I just want you to have it here. Please, please take, take my freedoms. Please, please take my freedoms. I don't get it. And then he says at the end, work is not a, a reason to leave home for the unvaccinated. One hour of exercise also is not essential. So you can't leave your home. You can't even exercise for an hour. Not only can you not exercise for an hour, leaving home to go to work, to make some money for yourself so you can sustain yourself while you're trapped in your house. You know better than that. Stop. Don't you get in that car to go leave your house. If you're not leaving to go test for COVID or go to the hospital for COVID, buy groceries, or take care of someone sick, don't you dare get in that car. Now, my whole thing is, how are you going to go buy these essential groceries that they're allowing you to if you can't go to work and make money to buy them? How will you be able to take care of someone sick to buy the supplies they need, you know, so you can take care of them if you can't go to work to buy them? How are you going to be able to go to a COVID testing place, drive using gas, or go to the hospital and pay hospital bills if you're sick, if you can't go to work to pay for it. Like they they literally are ostracizing the unvaccinated from society in Australia. And there's nothing the people of Australia can do. You can't work. You can't, you know, go to those three essential places. You can't leave your home for any reason because you're a greater risk and I don't want you thinking for yourself. And then if you do or you do get sick, they throw you in a concentration camp, basically, and then give you restrictions in the concentration camp. Dog, I, 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 I wish I could make this up, but this is real stuff happening around the world.
There are lots of people who are saying it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't affect me. The thing about this stuff is you need to be aware. It doesn't matter if it affects you or not, because eventually it's going to come knocking on your door. And you not caring then is not going to prepare you for what's here now. So my job is to just tell you guys what's happening. So that way down the line, when America finally does become what people want it like, here are my freedoms. I don't want to think for myself. Please, government, come save me. And then the government decides, oh, we going to come save you. Today, we got time. That I hope you guys are prepared. I mean, if you're watching this, you're more than likely prepared because you think for yourself. You don't let anybody do the thinking for you. Nor if someone tells you, don't think for yourself, you don't say, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll let you do the thinking for me. But anyways, man, I just want to bring y'all this video because I'm just like, and this can't go on any longer. The people of Australia, I hope you guys dig real deep into that human spirit. Find some will, put some faith in God and stand up to this nonsense. Start asking the questions that need to be asked. Don't just let your government just do what they wanted. Like, I don't see how people are just letting their government do this and how other people like if I was a vaccinated person in Australia and I saw our government doing this to the unvaccinated, I would be like, yo, I wouldn't say, well, good thing I'm vaccinated. I don't got to worry about it. No, I would say I don't like the way they treating my fellow Australian citizens. We need to speak up about this just as much as the ones who don't have the vaccine. But anyways, man, leave your guys' comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everyone who subscribed, who likes the videos, who comments on the videos. You know, I never ask you guys to, but if you're not watching me for, if you're watching me for the first time, you know, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. I got a mic now. We're going to be up in the video quality, bringing some good content. Some new things are going to be on the way, man. But I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all day. It's been your boy Chad and I'm out. Peace.